Well, here I am at the 2024 Dubai International Boat Show Dibs, as a matter of fact, and on board the Nomad 101, which is under the wonderful local brand Golf Craft. Now, the Nomad 101 is a very, very special vessel indeed, because as a matter of fact, at just under 200 gross tons, that's the volume of a boat, it offers immense space. Its length, 101 feet, which is around 30 meters, However, because of the largeness of its gross tonnage, it actually uh, kind of comes through as a compact 50 meter rather than a 30 meter yacht. Now, this is a wonderful example with five cabins, four for guests, one master suite. It's a tri-deck, it's a cruising yacht. So what that means is it's a vessel that you can cruise at 10 knots around 1,000 nautical miles. But if you drop that to eight knots, you can cruise 3,100 nautical miles, and all the power comes from the twin uh, 2,000 brake horsepower, wonderful engines, and of course it's got plenty of entertaining space, about five different entertainment spaces. Quite simply, it is a wonderful, wonderful yacht that I'm gonna go uh, have a little tour on now. Now, let me show you the stern of the uh, Nomad 101. There you go, you've got the Beach Club over here, which has been, uh, you know, in this particular case, you have a sitting area and then you've got one tender in the back that you can put. Of course, you can change this around and you can have multiple tenders here if you're willing to sacrifice the sitting area. But a beach club, I think, makes the hugest difference, especially on yachts of a certain size, because then you have an additional area very close to the water as one would want, you know, uh, and, and, and kind of it gives a wonderful um, area to to relax and to enjoy soak up the sun whether it's uh, morning evening whatever time it might be now here we come into the wonderfully designed uh, main saloon they've used very nice light colors. There's plenty of space, massive windows. That really helps uh, the, um, the uh, I don't want to say the illusion because it is a, a massive space, but it gives a lot, a very nice airy feeling to it. A lovely table uh, that can accommodate 12 guests over there. Well, 10 guests rather. And then um, again, let me show you these. Of course, when it comes to golf craft, they're big on sustainability and these are all reused materials the parquet is reused uh kind of uh, wood the uh, uh, marble is particularly interesting because there's a lot of marble on the boat and what they do is they actually have a thin uh, marble piece on top underneath they use a honeycombing method so that it's nice and sturdy but then um you know then it can um then uh, you save a lot of weight from there now to the port side, let's go into the, um, the galley over here. A very nice galley, I must admit. I mean, you know, very modern, this you would expect. Um, lovely views, again, massive windows, fantastically done. Well, as we come in from the main saloon, you get a day head here. Of course, we're on the uh, starboard side right now. That's right. And then you come into the master suite. Now, the master suite, I must say, is particularly impressive. Got a whole lot of storage here. So, lots and lots of space. And then you come through, you've got private door. I'll show you what that does. Then you come into this fantastic 180 Vista within the master suite, which is absolutely fantastic. You see, rarely would you see this in a yacht of this size. And of course that TV does come down and then you can have wonderful 180 vistas all around. You've got a nice kind of, uh, you know, study slash makeup area there. Of course, this is a wonderful uh, ensuite. And <laughs> you'll be surprised at how large the ensuite is, double sinks. Fantastic space in here, look at that. And these marbles are particularly interesting because they actually put a thin layer of marble and then underneath they have a honeycomb type of structure. 
to make it nice and sturdy so you get the marble feel but you don't get the uh, the dead weight and um, you know there you go and then a very nice bathroom in there as well fantastic and again wonderful views from every which way that you can see now what's particularly interesting here is you've got a little private area right in front of the uh, the master suite here and that is easily accessible by a private door right there so the cabin uh, can actually be extremely private around about there they can block it so none of the guests can come up but as the owner you can have your own private door into your private front kind of veranda however on the sea which i find is absolutely fantastic let me just show you the room a little bit more absolutely wonderful and then we'll head downstairs to see the um, the guest cabins in this particular format there are four so you've got a, a twin here which actually can be configured from the factory so that you can have it uh, kind of you know come together and into a um, a king they are all en suite here we go and then you've got an exact copy of it right here again a double well a twin rather and again exactly the same nice and en suite now as you go further down here uh, if I wasn't told I would have missed it you've got a very nice laundry room here washer dryer sink very cleverly done and very neatly hidden and as you go you get another twin over here again pretty similar to the first two that we saw over here there we go and then again on sweet the use of these colors I particularly like because they give a very nice light airy feel to it and then you've got the VIP state room here which um, you know would be on a 30 meter yacht of this sort this would actually be the owner's cabin yet the nomad 101 they've managed to have a much more impressive owner's cabin upstairs owner's suite and this is the vip suite which is fantastic plenty of natural light to come in from these windows and then over here again it is en suite with a little uh, kind of storage area in here and then again on suite over here as you can see wonderfully done Now here we are on the uh, the second deck, the middle deck of this tri-deck, wonderful Nomad 101. And over here you've got a, a great space. Um, now this space can be uh, worked out in a couple of ways, depending on what the owner wants. Now, as you can see, it is configured as a, a kind of an outer saloon, an alfresco area. Now you can put a dining table here, or if should you want, you can also put your tenders here so you can put two tenders here well a tender and two jet skis and a winch will be over here as well so that you can have more of your toys stored here if your uh, beach club should not be enough moving indoors you've got uh, the saloon here uh, the sky lounge saloon very nice a great uh, again an area uh, that one wouldn't find in a yacht of this size but they've managed to have a lovely area here as well again beautiful big windows lots of natural uh, light sunshine coming in especially on this beautiful day in Dubai then as we walk through another day head in there nice day head that goes to the main deck and then you end up in the wheelhouse through this way and of course the wheelhouse has two doors as well to the starboard and port sides as well uh, you know equipped with the latest technology naturally fantastic Great vistas, great views, very, uh, you know, commanding position for the captain to be uh, commandeering this lovely Nomad 101. 
And then right here to the port side, uh, you've got the captain's office, which is a very handy uh, office to have. And uh, just like the master uh, stateroom, you've actually got a wonderful... So I'll show you the walkways. Walkways are massive. And then you've got uh, kind of a another area over here, a great sitting area. Can You can imagine how nice this would be for for sundowners, for uh, seeing the sun come up in the morning, or just generally while you're cruise to be here. It is absolutely fantastic. Have a look at that. And then, um, here you go. That's the, uh, that's the owner's private area, should he want to have it. And let me show you a little bit of the, uh, the busy waterways of Dubai during the boat show. Um, this true, true experience every year. They make it even better, bigger. Love it over here. Now let's go to the uh, to the top deck, shall we? I think always nicer to take the um, the outer uh, route. There we are. So you've got over here, and up we go. I got the top deck here, which is again beautiful space with a a lovely kind of an, or a wet bar kitchen even a teppanyaki station over here which is wonderful idea another wheelhouse up here at the top great sitting area and then uh, you know you've got your sun loungers over here to enjoy those wonderful days whether in Dubai the Mediterranean the Caribbean wherever you may be it's a perfect, perfect kind of deck to enjoy over here. And you got your communications bubbles over here as well. Let me show you a little bit more towards the front. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. You know, the, um, what they've managed to do here with the Nomad 101 is, is, is fantastic. You know, the, the gross tonnage is uh, very rare in this kind of vessel. Now crew quarters are always very important and uh, on the Nomad 101 you go through to the crew quarters from the uh, starboard side and then so off we go. We descend into it and here a lovely kind of dining area, a, uh, a more kind of industrial kitchen that they have here, but still absolutely magnificently done. Then over here, you've got two doubles. So you see you've got a bunk bed there, and of course they are en suite. And, um, ah, so this is what they call a Jack and Jill en suite. I've watched enough um, real estate shows to know that. All the estate agents, that's what they call them. So you've got one bathroom and a shower that's shared by the four here. Here are the crew quarters. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then over here, I can uh, presume this to be the um, captain's quarters. Ah, another double over here. There we are. So you've got actually space for two, four, six crew over here from what I can investigate. And then in here, you've got the, uh, the engine room. Of course, two times 2,000 MTUs over here, man engines, and they've got Caterpillar um, generators and so on. But of course, we'll um, give you more details on those in the video.